vlog today I'm here with a new video and today it's time for a first impression again and it is with the Enchanted Mysteries from Linda Holberg. I have been dying to try this palette. It just has been... I just haven't done it yet but this is um, their newest little palette and this is... They have one Enchanted Mysteries. Enchanted Secrets and one Metallic Mysteries or two Metallic Mysteries and this is like a combo of both the two things. So these two are like the Enchanted shades. Maybe I can show you. The palette looks like this, the front of it. I really like it. And the shadows looks like this. So these are the Enchanted and these are the Metallics and this green, it has an amazing shift. I don't know. I think you can see a little bit in the mirror or maybe not. It is... Okay, how can I... I don't know if you can see it's green and then... No, I can't like get it in camera. I will, or maybe, can you see it there, it's like purple. <laughs> Good explanation. So okay, I'm going to use this palette today and I'm mainly going to use this one. Uh, and I want to use all of the shades, either on my eyes or on my face. But yeah, I will just zoom you in and then we get started with this first impression. So, and I can also say the two enchanted things they are more like duochrome and these metallics are more metallic of course i will though start with taking something in my crease um just not to have like a sharp too sharp edge and i really like to when i'm doing something that is pretty dark to go in with the infinity d palette and take light year and that is what i'm going to do today as well so i'm just going to pop this in my crease so something like that and now we go in to the enchanted mysteries palette and i want to take the lacuna shade like all over my lid just to like get the full duochrome out of it it is easier i have heard <laughs> um if you take it on like a curved surface than taking up like a flat surface and just take a little bit of your lid. It is better to have like the full, full spectra of the eyelid. I hope you get what I mean. So you like have the curve of the eyelid and oh. I'm just popping this onto my lid and I have only used my normal eyeshadow base. And I'm using one of the Linda Holbrook brushes. This is the 303. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite brushes. I think it works to everything. And okay. This looks so cool. And it is... It's maybe not that opaque from start, but I can definitely build it up to be pretty opaque. I don't know how to do the blend. So I just pop it in. And I think I will take it pretty high. As always. And then I think I will go in with the brush I had in my crease. With no additional product and just smudge it a little bit. And I think that that works pretty good. I think though I want to take this a little bit higher. Maybe it would have been cool if I would have taken like a black in my crease as well. But it feels like, I don't know if this is a black base or not. 
I'm not sure, but if I like take it and then if I smudge it a little bit, it's like more black than green. So I don't know if like smudging, if it takes away the duochrome. I am like not used at all to work with duochromes because I don't have a lot of duochromes and yeah, I just don't. Okay. I think I really like this. It's a really cool green. It's hard for me because I don't know how you see it. But it's really cool. I really like it. I think if I would have taken like a glitter glue, it would have been more. It would have shown more. But if I look at myself, it's like straight forward or a little bit tilted. It doesn't look like I have the same shade over my eye. I don't know how the camera is picking it up, but. I really really like it. It's like I want to pick on more and more and more But I think this has to do It is like Green mostly green a little hint of like black or dark purple and a little bit of cold I want to say I don't really know but I just know that I really like this shade and okay, I take it a little bit high up. I really, really like this and I think the duochromes look so cool but it's not like, I don't have that many and it's nothing. I feel like I want to buy I don't know why okay I think that this looks pretty even and so cool okay I just want to blend it a little bit more I love when I like blend it up here it just transfer the like green specks and it gives a really cool effect and can you see all the green on my brush I actually think that I will go like this. So I will take away the fallouts. I have uh, some, we can say. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows. I have my brows on. I will fix my base, almost the whole base. And then I come back and we do the unroll together. And so far I have only used one of the shades. So I only use this. Um... I am thinking about taking this as a highlighter. Maybe I should swatch it just to see how it looks. I think it's going to be so nice as a highlighter. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think so. But I will definitely take that as a highlighter. So I will fix my face and then I'll come back. Okay, so time to do my highlighter and this was a little bit dirty. I'm going to use this one for highlight and I really hope that this works good. Okay, the brush to pick up pretty much product so we will see if it's just maybe floating around I don't know if it sticks to my face that good I want to be honest or it's just maybe okay it's a little bit there but not like super super much it feels like the most of it is like getting around in the air or maybe I have some on my cheek. 
I do. I think this is like a pretty natural highlight. Maybe I just don't see the duochrome to it. Or it just doesn't suit my skin tone. It can easily be that. Okay, now it's a little bit more. Okay, now I'm starting to see this. But I don't know if it's just like... It feels pretty matte on the skin. This is strange. Okay, here I can see it and I think you can see it as well. Maybe it would be better with like a stiffer brush. I don't know, or maybe just to... Okay, maybe that looks better to like... Pack it on like this. I think it was better to just put it down like this instead. Maybe I should do it a little bit here. Yeah, that was better. So, if you're going to use this as a highlight, just like pack it off and not. Sweep it off, sweep it off, sweep it on, just pack it on. Maybe if I take my finger, how will that look? Okay, if I take the finger, I get like all the duochrome, or I get the specks with it. Okay. Okay, maybe I should take it a little bit easy or maybe like not if I sweep it on with my finger do you see this and blend it out with the brush okay it's like I'm a little bit afraid of taking too much highlight okay we put it on with the finger at least here okay now I really hope that you can see this Okay, so if you want, do you see? If you want like a normal little highlight, take it with the brush. But if you want something pretty in your face, you can use this with your finger. But okay, I'm going to stop now. So I'm just going to spritz my face a little bit. So okay, for my under eyes. I will take Aura. I will take Aura and then maybe take Void a little bit on my outer corner just to match it a little bit with um, the one I have on my lids. Really like it. So I take Aura and I will actually spray this because. This is not going to stick on my dry under eyes. So I'm spraying this. And this is one of the metallic shades. I really hope that you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I should have gone in with light here to smoke it out a little bit. And just take this close to the lash line. I think it works like this. Okay, and I think I will go in with Void, the black one, and just pop it on the outer corner. And I don't know if this is going to be able to get stuck on its own. I will try. Yes. It 
shows a little bit at least, so and I just wanted to connect my lid with my lower lash and it works perfect for that. Okay, so I will take mascara, something in my waterline, I will of course take Linda Holberg, pen, something on my lips and then I come back and give you my first impression with the Enchanted Mysteries palette. Okay, so for my waterline I used Levi Flash and for my lips I used first a lip pencil. I like never do that but I used a Soft Spoken from NYX. It's one of the suede and for lips I used Garnet from Linda Holberg and yeah this is my finished look and my first impression with the metallic Enchanted Mysteries. <sighs> Enchanted Mysteries and I have used all of the shades and I really really love this that I have on my lids. I will try to see if I can get duochrome effect so you can see it. Um, I really like it. I like that I can put it on and it looks like I have put down so much work on my eyelids and it's just one shade and it worked so good just with my normal eyeshadow base. So I really like that and I think I got something in my eye. And this Aura, really nice shade because I like those kind of shades and I think it worked good under the eyes. So just spraying it looks good and I'm actually a little bit surprised by this one that it looks like a pretty normal highlighter if you just take a brush and I like that if you really want something sparkly and chunky you can just put it on with your fingers but I still think it looks really good it's it looks really good yeah that's all. So yeah, I really like this one. I think though they are a little bit pricey because it's only four shades. But at the same time, I love Linda Holberg. I love the makeup and I am going to continue to buy all the palettes because I am a collector when it comes to Linda Holberg. I think they do amazing stuff and I really love that you can use everything everywhere because if I would wanted to, I could have these on my lips as well and not being worried to get them into my mouth because it's no nothing dangerous about that. So that I really like and this shade is my absolute favorite in this palette. So yeah, that was all for this first impression. I really hope you like this. Did you pick up this palette? I don't know if this is still available. It is an... Um, a limited edition palette but their limited edition palettes are usually there for a longer period of time which I think is really good so if it is still in stock and you like the colors buy it I think they are pretty amazing and this is such a unique shade I like really want to show you this but I don't know how could I go to like a duochrome school? Is there such a thing? I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!